Hello. Hello, hello. I have an hour to kill. And there's like nothing where I am. There's no stores. There's literally like in the middle of nowhere. It's just like a high school dropped in the middle of nowhere. So I was like, well, you know what? Let's go live for, you know, 45 minutes while I wait for my kid to do what he's got to do before the game start. I feel like I'm always live in my car. I feel, well, honestly, like I feel like I live in my car. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Art. What's up? I know that there's probably not going to be very many people today. Hey, Beth. Happy Easter. Um, just because people, hey, voices, what's up? I haven't seen you in a minute. Fraud busters. Hello, hello. Happy Easter. Yeah, so I was like, you know, let's just go live. I pretty much live in my car. Not literally, but I'm in my car a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, I drive probably, what, two, four, 14. I probably drive at least like 30 hours a week damn you warm weather people. <laughs> I love it, dude. I couldn't, I couldn't go back. Like I'm from New York, obviously. And, uh, so I don't miss the snow at all. Like at all. I, I don't miss it. Not even a little bit. Hey, Wispy, what's up? Happy Easter. You're making brunch. I know a lot of people are doing their like, um, Easter festivities today. So I was like, well, there's probably not going to be a lot of people, but I don't really care. 950 miles a week. I don't even know what my weekly mileage is. I just, I, I don't even want to look. I don't want to look because I'll probably freaking cry. Reading up on candle waxes, types and blends. Um, You're from New York and live in Cali? Yeah. And then you get it because it's like, everybody's like, when are you going to come visit? When are you come, going to come visit? And I'm like, well, not anytime between October and May. So <laughs> just count that out. I'm not coming anywhere near snow or cold weather. 180 miles every other day. That's friggin' nuts, dude. How do you do that? I don't know how much I drive. I don't know how many miles I drive. I know that when I got my car, there were, there was like, uh, I think there was like three miles on it when I got it. Right. So it was like right off the lot and I've had it since, I don't even know when, I don't even know when I freaking got my car. October. Hey, B Fergs. I don't know when I got it. Maybe October. No, November. I might've got my car. I don't fucking know. And, um, so what are we in now? March. So yeah, so I've had it for between like about like October to March and there's already 57,000 miles on it. Like that just makes me friggin' cringe. 57. Hey pugs. 57,000 miles in what? October, November, November, December, December, January, January, February, February, March. In five months, six months, we'll just say. Walmart is 160 miles round trip. Yeah, we I live pretty far out in the middle of nowhere too. So it's it's far. The Walmart, I mean, it's not that far. Walmart for me is maybe 30 minutes, I would say. But yeah, I live pretty far out there. Um I kind of regret a little bit like moving that far out there just because the kids have you know like when you live in a neighborhood and you have all the neighborhood kids and you get to hang out and play with them and stuff like that like my kids don't get to do they don't get to do that so it's a little bit I don't know it's like I kind of feel bad for them a little bit hey happy life it's a full day activity Walmart <laughs> could you imagine being like hey oh my god I would die I'd be like hey I gotta run to Walmart and then just know that I'm gonna be gone for six hours <laughs> I would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. So, what's happening as the tube turns? Uh, I, I, hey, Muffin Mouse, I watch a lot of, um, you know, like random stuff. Why? Hang on a second. Uh, no, I'm trying to, I don't think I can. I'm trying to make, I thought B Fergs was a mod in here. I gotta make her a mod. Um, I'll do that after. Beefworks, I thought you were mad. Now I, I don't think I can do it on here. So I saw, yeah, I can't do it right now. Um, Montana, hello, hello. Um, so yeah, I uh, was watching YouTube this week. I mostly listened to it uh, while I'm driving and at work and whatever. 
freaking nuts, dude. So you got, what's her name? Mandy Bell. I don't even know who she is. I mean, I've heard about her here and there, but I don't know who she is. You know what I mean? She's like sitting as the tortilla turns. That is right. She's sitting there and saying, you know, oh, I got docs. That is not the way I took it at all. When I first heard it, when I first heard it, it was like, when Queen said that Alicia warned me about this person, the way I immediately took it was that it was said as Mandy Bell. I don't know why people would ever think that that's not how it was said. That's where my brain went immediately. My brain didn't go to, because that does sound like, what? It sounds like a first and last name, right? Okay. So that's where my brain went. It was fucking crazy. I was like, this girl is a lunatic. To, like, she's crazy, crazy. Like, that's not even how I took it at all. So I was like, whatever. I guess, like, if that's how you want to take it, I mean, that's your name. So if you, that's how you want to take it, then go ahead. <laughs> Start spitting out dates, your brain turns off. Hey, Mark. So there was that situation. So then, uh, I don't know who caught Wendy V's live this morning. And if you did catch it, can you please tell me what she said? Because I didn't understand a word because all I... She was slurring so bad that I understood nothing. This is why you don't get absolutely waste face and then and go live. No waste face living, okay? Uh, because that was terrible. I couldn't understand a word she said. And I know, like, sometimes I feel like my tongue is too big for my mouth and I slur. It's not because I'm drinking. It's just because that's how I talk sometimes when I get excited. But, uh, yeah, it was really bad. Just... She hurts your brain. She hurts my brain too. Hey, Pecan. And she was slurring and just absolutely, in my opinion, fucking inebriated. I mean, full on waste face. Like there's no, you know, like we just went out and we just partied our asses off for all the hours before we hit the live button. Like, holy moly. Because that was terrible. So if you guys know what she said in her live, <laughs> feel free to put it in the chat and uh, you could be my interpreter because I don't speak, uh, I, I don't speak fucking Modelo as it turns out or Foster's or uh, Bud Light with Michelob Ultra, whatever she was speaking. I don't speak that. And I don't, I, I can't understand what she, the fuck she was saying, dude. It was so bad. It was so, so bad. So she was speaking in kangaroo. Dude, I watch videos of kangaroos a lot. And those fuckers are scary. She's got to be a... I bet you she's a beast of a lady. She just wrestles those bitches. <laughs> I bet you she does. She was slurring about Alicia. See, I didn't even get that. I didn't even pick that up because I couldn't hear anything. And I mean, I was laughing at her too. So that might be part of the problem. I was doing most of the laughter. So yeah, then I see... Friggin' Molly, that humpback behemoth, she goes live about Bullhorn Betty as if Bullhorn Betty is any worse than Molly. Like, how how are you, who's a terrible fucking human being, gonna call out another terrible human fucking being? It just doesn't work. Like, you can't call out a shitty person when you're a shitty person. Like, just zero self-awareness with that. Talking about how, oh... Uh, you would have no subscribers if it was for me. How do you think you got here? Because of me. No. What are you talking about? Like, I'm sure she did ride your coattails a little bit, probably. I don't know. But, I mean, come on. You people are nuts. Like, the tragedy pimps are just buck wild right now, dude. Buck wild. You got Dolly Vision, who was big mad. Like, holy shit, did you see him in his car? Like, when he was, like, trying to figure out the directions. I I made a reaction video. I haven't uploaded it yet. I should, but I haven't yet. Hey, hey, Tracy, welcome. Um. Oh, hey, Kelsey. Dude, Kelsey, that's, I had that on my channel. Oh, I might have deleted it. I might have deleted that short, but I had it on my channel. And that... I mean, it was, that kangaroo was scratching the glass with its talons. And all I could imagine was like, <laughs> what, like if that was Wendy V's house and that fucking kangaroo came and it's like scratching at the door, it's like down the glass. Wendy V being like, get out of here, you fucking cunt. You fucking cunt. 
kangaroo. Get out of here. Like, I, like, that's all I could imagine in my head. It was crazy. So, yeah, JLR is in it, or JLR, Dolly Vision, one and the same. Uh, Dolly Vision's in his car, right? And he's trying to get PJ to send him directions, and he is fucking pissed, dude. And when people get mad, I immediately laugh. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like a defense mechanism or what it is, but mad people crack me up. So, he's like super angry, and he's, um, sitting in his car and he's like leaning forward because his you know he's you know let me grab my work phone he's got his like other phone up here and he's live streaming so he's like texting on this phone right and he's like can you please send me the right address can you please stop calling me and then he fucking throws his soda bottle and then the car like his rental car just stop starts like going beep 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 for no reason so he's like looking around and he's like I, I i don't even know what's beeping and he's all fucking mad and i'm like oh my god like you can't even make this up i can't even make this up and today like the theme for the week was like can youtube get any weirder like can youtube get any weirder right now like you miss Dolly in the car. I have it clipped and I did a reaction to it because I was like, oh my God, I can't not laugh at this dude. Like, I can't take him seriously. Like, little Dolly, big mad. So I was like, what the frig? But yeah, he is like a trash bag floating in the wind, just going everywhere. Hey, Christina. Hello, hello. Mad people crack you up too. Dude, I don't know what it is. Like when people get angry, I immediately laugh. I've been that way my whole life. Like my mom used to yell at me and she'd be really mad at us. And I would just laugh hysterically. And she'd be like, it's not funny, J. Oh, I almost said my real name. It's not funny, JP. And I'd be like, oh God. I'd be like, I, it's not funny, but I can't not laugh because your veins are sticking out of your neck and you just look like you're really worked up right now. And that's cracking me up. I don't want to say my real name on here because, uh, you know, you never know. And then, so last week I was in MM's chat and I said like one comment, right? I wrote one comment. I hadn't even commented hardly at all throughout that live because I was working. So I said one comment about, oh, I don't I said that Tracy was all up in Diane's ass right now because she is. She's all the way up there. She's all the way up in that ass. And excuse me, she's like a little dingleberry just hanging on to Diane's friggin ass hairs. And so I was like, okay, Tracy is all the way up in Diane's ass. That's weird. Tracy goes live. She's like, who are you, JP? I don't even know you. Why do you care? Tracy, how the fuck did you see my comment? Out of all those comments, you see my comment that I made one comment the whole friggin' day. That's what you see. And you call it out like, holy shit. Diane who? Tracy who? Tracy the truth and Diane... Diane. I don't know. I don't know how to explain Diane. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, CK. Hey, Branson. She's laughing out loud at me. That's cool. She can be my people's. Yeah, Tracy is the lady that wanted to see my tattoo. She's like, let me see that tattoo. Does that say Christina underneath it? Does that say Christina? Uh, Diane, I don't know. I don't know if that's her name or not. I have no idea. But yeah, the St. Jude, the St. Jude grifter. Yes, her. Yes, absolutely. The, the Diane, I don't know what her name. I just fucking Diane. You know, Tracy, the truth too. Okay. Well, Tracy, the truth has a friggin' eagle eye for comments, dude. That's all I got to say. She has, she is desperately trying to get MM's attention. Really bad. Really bad. Taking those screenshots out of her own email like a friggin' creep yeah uh, let me see uh if i can christina i'm just gonna remove that comment um just not any offense no offense just um yeah just last names i mean i don't know if she put her last name out here publicly or not before i have no idea um she needs a, she does need a hobby tracy you need a hobby Thank you, Em. She needs a hobby. She needs uh, to not be sitting there with her fucking magnifying glass on YouTube. Because I'm pretty sure that's what she does. Like, I can't... I don't even... I don't even watch the comment section 99.9% .9 of the time. Unless I'm actively chatting in 
the chat. You know what I mean? If I'm not actively chatting in the chat, I'm not reading what's being said. And that right there is why I am a really shitty mod. <laughs> I'm a really fucking shitty mod. Cause I, if I'm not actively chatting, I'm not reading the chat. Not Tracy. She'll sit in a live. She's probably sitting in here right now. Hey, Trace. Um, but I'm like, God dang, dude, these streets are wild. It seems like it's always before a holiday too. You know what I mean? Like, did you ever notice that? That it's like every time it's right before a holiday, shit hits the fan. Like shit hits the fan and people just go buck wild. Like right before a holiday. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Hey, good Tracy. I know. I like, I like the good Tracy's. There's a couple good Tracy's that I like taking screenshots of my chats. I know. God, y'all be here for days, Trace. And I, I mean, even, okay, so let's just say, let's just say that my name was Christina, okay? Let's just say my name was Christina and I did have Christina tattooed underneath this tattoo. How many fucking Christinas are there in the world? <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? Just because if my name was Christina and I had it tattooed on my arm, is that gonna, that means that I'm the fucking crazy Christina? Like, come on. God dang. Full moon helped. Yeah, the full moon did help. And then I read something, or I didn't read, I, it was that lady that was on Queen Bee's panel that day, that the lady that went apeshit, um, like talking about there's some kind of something with the eclipse and there's... Like, I, I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah. Or no, I, I've been JP even before I was on YouTube. I've been JP. People have called me JP my whole entire life. So is that Christina? Does that say Christina? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know between the eclipse and the full moon and it's like right before a holiday and it's spring, you know what I mean? In most places. And I don't know about where you guys are when it's cold weather, but where I grew up in springtime, people come out of the fucking woodwork in the spring. Like all the crazies come out and they all, Oh, okay. KCG. Um, if I don't see you again, KCG, happy Easter. Um, I don't know, but yeah, my, just like Beeferg said, the animal's crazy. All my dogs are going ape shit. They're all crazy right now. They're going absolutely berserk. Uh, and on top of that, they're shedding. So, I mean, I have uh, 86 pounds of fucking dog here on my couch right now. It's just a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I'm like, what is this? I'm like, can it just be summer? Can it just be summer so we can go out on the boat and just, you know what I mean? And I can just like USA it out because it has been a friggin' trip. Yeah. And everybody has cabin fever. That's right. So that's what I think it is. Like, I think people are getting like stir crazy. I think it's just a nightmare, but YouTube's been weird. So yeah, I mean, I don't know how many people heard Molly go lightly go on her rant. Let me see if I can find it on here. Uh, how many people heard her? Dude, she's a wacko. She is a wacko. She's just not talking. She's live right now, but she's just not talking. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's not cold and snowy here, but I get that. YouTube has been weird for a while. Oh, she caught the Laura throat. So, yesterday I was live and... <clears throat> So when she, uh, I don't know if she's back on YouTube. She has like a channel on YouTube that I think she like kind of dicks around with, but I don't think that she, uh, I don't think that she's like on YouTube full time. She says it in this, that she doesn't care about YouTube, but I think that she just comes to YouTube just to call out people that are on YouTube. I don't know. She makes no sense. She's a weirdo anyway. Yeah, we're going to fast forward a little bit because she echoes and all kinds of shit. Because I guess she forgot how to YouTube. You know what? Yeah, you can have it. Guess what? Back then? Mm, not so much. Yeah, she is banny vaping. For Boulevard, buddy. It's okay. Yeah. It was pointless, yeah. Twilight. She just... Have a friend that's willing to pick up the bill. Right? 
I don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, let me try to. We have a friend that's working with you as a team player. That's what I thought. All you about the money. Me and Jonathan were just team players. Team players. We were actually working towards something very, very good together. Hold up, skirt. We were working towards something very, very good together. What would that be? What the fuck was Bullhorn Betty, Molly Golightly, and JLR going to do together? What were they going to accomplish? Hey, happy Easter, ZZ. What were they going to accomplish? Anybody? Nothing. They were going to accomplish nothing. <laughs> we were working some towards something really great together. No, you weren't. You were the one that pulled the plug. Out of jealousy and out of envy. Now, I know that there's people that are watching. I can see Angela's here. I can see Easy's here. I can see Pretty is Pretty Studs is here. I remember. They all remember this. They remember what? We remember how you came in. Your intentions. But after a while, I was a little upset at the beginning, yeah. Yeah, I agree, Kelly. She does come on here just to trash people. I don't know Jilly, so I don't know if it was true or not. I have no idea. She does wear trash bags. Her trash bag wetsuit. Dude, that was epic. She wore that sucker for eight days in a row. I just didn't know how it was possible. How it was possible. We have to speed her up. That you could sit here and say you're passionate about certain things. I'll tell you something. I saw the passion outside of. I guess I can't. Who knew? Brian Laundries. I want BHB yeah, yeah. to do it too, but I don't Definitely think passion. I don't. I don't think real. Definitely real. I don't think Bullhorn Betty's going to. I don't think she's going to retaliate. Who's jogging five miles a day? Molly? No. There's no way she's jogging five miles a day. <laughs> no. Her jaw might move five miles a day side to side. No. Uh-uh. was no smoking mirrors when I, when I saw that. No smoking mirrors. No smoking mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. Not smoking say. mirrors. Mirrors don't smoke. So the passion, Jonathan... The passion. Olivia came at the very end. Bum fights. <laughs> then we got together. And you guys went out to Utah. Some shit like that, right? Who went to Oh, Oh, so see where Gabby was. And the two girls that disappeared. Right? You didn't come. She used to say she jogged five miles a day. Uh-uh. I saw her panting when she walked to the fucking refrigerator and back one day. She was very heavily breathing. There was a lot of mouth noises, but I didn't appreciate it. Not much. Thank God I didn't go. But I also did tell you, I don't do mountains. I don't do nature. I don't do mountains. Sorry. Sorry. They had already been found. And I am not Inspector Gadget. Oh, boop, a smackdown? Oh, shit. I don't know what the hell you're doing over there on that channel. And I used to wonder why so many people, so many people, hey Gary. Hey Gary. Hated you. And I used to stick up for you and say, no, the passion is there. I know that the passion is there. So weird that she always falls out with people, though. She had Bullhorn Betty at her house, remember? Bullhorn Betty was there. They did the whole Ashley Furniture fucking shit show. Like, and then they they went to, yep, exactly, Glenda. They went to Florida, and they did that whole thing where they were like, oh, sorry, I just had to burp. Excuse me. Um, They did that whole thing where they were, like, um, trying to film the... Uh, what do they call it? Like a pitch? I don't know what you call it. I don't I don't know what you call it. Well, you know what? You met so her in Colorado? You met who? Molly? These people on YouTube on 
under the bus. But so long as you know, I'm telling the truth. You met her? I'm telling the absolute truth. I have nothing to lose when it comes over. When it comes yeah, to I did have hic- I had like a hiccup. This channel away from me, this it was like a hiccup burp. <laughs> It was not really like a hiccup, but kind of like a more like a repressed burp. I don't care. I don't care about this. What the hell was Molly doing in Colorado, Voices? She doesn't do mountains. So why was she in Colorado? I don't need this. Right? I think that hey. bothers everybody, right? To know that I don't need to be on YouTube. I don't need to be on YouTube. I can do my own little thing, unbothered, doing well. A watch me know angry. I have been absolutely consistent from day one till today. Well, that's not true. That's not true at all. My mm-hmm. intentions that's were always good. One thing I can prove is I've always been a team player. I've always been a team player. I've always been a team player. What are you talking about? One of uh, somebody that I'm friendly with on YouTube said that immediately as soon as she hears Molly's name, all she sees is those black pants that she was wearing in Tennessee with the bright orange shirt with the hat. <laughs> Screaming in front of the CPS building. I was like, oh my God. Oh shit. That's hilarious to me. And that's exactly what you try to do. And in that process, right? After that second trip, tell them the truth. Why don't you tell everyone the truth, Bullhorn Betty? See, I want to... Let's get to Jonathan Lee Rishes. She leaves a lot out. She's, like, alluding to a lot of things, but she's not saying a lot. She's like, oh, why does he hate your gut so much? You tell me why. I want to know why now. Why does Jonathan Lee Rishes hate you so much? You'll never say it, right? But I was there. I was there. See? And she won't say it. She won't say what? I want to know what. I want to know why he hates her so much. I know. She was holding her sign up. Are you trying to make him out to be like he's some kind of crazy stalker? Gotcha. Because mm. you didn't do anything, right, Benny? I want to know. a lot of animosity because Don Wells wanted nothing to do with her. A lot of animosity. I think so too, and I be Fergs, and I think that she also brought up like a couple other people's names, but I don't know. Ew, toss a hot dog in the hallway, never find it again. But and they just kept on rolling, kept on rolling, and even when they left me in the middle of the night, <laughs> this is my favorite part. When they left me in the middle of the night. <laughs> they fucking abandoned Molly in the middle of the night. That's how cra- you know you're crazy if people have to escape from you in the middle of the night. And that was all Betty's call. It wasn't the rest. Oh, Betty, shit. Who paid for everybody's food? Me. Who paid for that Airbnb? Me. You went outside and showed, hey, everybody, let's look at this great Airbnb. And show everyone where I'm staying because I'm so smart. No, I'm going to disagree with that, dear. But that's not my problem. Who paid for your rental car? Me. Who paid for everyone's hotel rooms? Me. Right? Why was she paying for all these people's shit? That's what I want to know. Why are you paying for people's rental cars? Why are you paying for other people's airline tickets? Why are you paying all that? Why? Like, were you splitting? Oh, I just spit all over. That was freaking gross. Were you splitting the rental car? Were you... I don't understand. Like, did you, why are you doing that? Like, you can't pay for all that shit and offer to pay for it all and then be like, I paid for it. I paid for it. You either pay for it out of the goodness of your heart or you sit down and you shut the fuck up about it. I pay for everything. I pay for everything. You You were recording and putting up videos of things that you shouldn't have because of me. You built your foundation off of me, little lady. Little lady. Oh, we'll take it away from you. You got a lot of you got a lot of drive. You got a lot of tenacity. I, I like that. I like that little lady. But you wouldn't be where you're Why does she keep calling Bullhorn Betty little lady? 
Bullhorn Betty is not particularly little. Like, I wouldn't refer to her as little. I mean, I think she's probably short. You know what I mean? Maybe. I don't know. But I guess when you look like a fucking linebacker, I guess maybe she is little to you, Molly. Hey, nothing to me. Let me ask you a question, dear. Why is... Jonathan and Olivia, you're two people. Why what is Molly going to be my kick? Are you uh, sure? uh, Molly, I don't. Sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know. Infamous. I'm assuming it's probably Molly Go Lightly. I don't know. I don't watch her on kick. I'm not on kick. When she first went over to kick, I went over to watch a little bit of her fuck shit, but she was super boring, so I just dipped. Bullhorn Betty is one of the most disingenuous fucking people I've ever met. I don't know. Yesterday, I was told. Molly looks like she swallowed Betty. <laughs> you oh, God, where did that comment go? On the oh, shit. That's what you did? I love it. I told everybody there's no way. There is no way that Bullhorn Betty would be outside with Dolly Vision and protesting in the heat in Savannah for a little baby that was in pieces. <laughs> In a landfill. This shit's funny. Right. So what I'm yeah. gathering from this, okay, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong. This is just what I'm picking up, what she's putting down, because she's so fucking vague that it's just, she's just a weirdo. But, um, like, if you're just going to say it, say it. Stand ten toes down on that shit and just fucking say it, Molly. Like, why are we beating around the bush like a creep? Anyways, what I'm thinking is, I think... Yes, what nonsense just said. Cher, because Spanky and Bullhorn Betty made up with Cher, and I'm assuming because Cher is friends with Quentin Simon's grandmother, which I can't even think of her freaking name right now. And I think that's what this is all stemming from. But it's weird. Molly's only like 5'4". God, I didn't know outside linebackers were only 5'4". That's weird. I wasn't talking to you at that time. You asked me to go down there. Who ended it? Who ended it? Who were they afraid of? BJ, yeah. Who was his mother and grandmother? Who the hell was the threat? It was me. Wait, who got fake glasses? Okay. You hated it. That you needed me yeah, to come all the way down there. I didn't make any money. I didn't try to make any money, right? You say... Oh. You know what I think? So I don't know about you guys' TJ Maxx's, but our TJ Maxx here sells... Gucci glasses. I don't know if they're actually Gucci glasses or not. I mean, I don't, I didn't pay that much attention and they were like $143. That's where Molly probably gets them. I bet you. Tiffany Marie got sent Tiffany glasses. Oh, isn't that just so kitschy? Oh, I feel so bad. You aren't streaming. You're not making any cash. Remember that, Betty? MGL is 5'3". I would bet you that she's 5'3". Yeah, I'm 5'3", so Beautiful I would say time. that she's probably about my height, Beautiful but she's just... Built really different. Saying, why are you protecting your daughter and not standing up for your baby grandson? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, baby grandson. What was going on? <clears throat> Molly does this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's Walter. Hey, Walter. We don't need to listen to Walter. Yeah, this is just... Every time she reads a comment. Like, that is so weird. She does. Oh, there's a lot of Gucci outlets. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, that makes... Welcome, hippie porium. Thanks for being here. MGL looks like a box with legs. I know, this is Walter. Walter, most dangerous man in the world. Worshipping meth crackhead that abandons her own kids. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How do you do that, Betty? How do you do that? I know, Walter does care for their puppy. I know. Where are you people? Lose your humanity. And now, let me guess. Oh, I don't know. She might have lost hers the same place you lost yours when you were mocking fucking Shanann Watts like a big scumbag. She probably lost her humanity the same place you did. Maybe you guys need to uh, circle back and find that shit. Let me guess. Bullhorn Betty is going to try to go down to Leilani's uh, court uh, hearings, right? Right? She's going to go to trial? Yeah, well, guess what? I'm not going. So my, one of my friends is like, oh, no, you got to go. And I'm like, no, I don't. 
I already did what I do. I speak on behalf of victims. But the thing is, the difference between you and I is I mean it. Okay? Hey, microwave. The big, huge difference between Bullhorn Betty and I hey, Celia. is that I mean what I say. The real passion has to be there, or else you are a fraud. Bullhorn Betty, how dare you? You're not a... Okay, so what are you? The real passion has to be there. You aren't passionate. You're not passionate. You're not passionate about the shit you do. You go down there, you drink, you party, you fucking get high, and then you, the China Slim Tea, oh my God. And all she did was talk about her fucking defecating habits. Like, I don't want to know that. I don't need to know that. Like, what kind of lady are you, ma'am? For the past year, I've been sticking up for you. No wonder Jonathan wants nothing to do with you. No wonder Dolly left you in the dust. It's like, what's okay? Hey, what about your religion? <laughs> Excuse me. Why? Because you're doing all the work. Her, she uses you. She uses you for clout. She wants. <laughs> she, she, she wants the uh, you to do all the work. She gets all the attention. She gets all the money. Right? This is you all. I get it. I'd be pissed off too. I would be pissed off too. But you want to know something? This isn't about Jonathan. This isn't about anything else. Try it's the not even about anything personal between you and I. The fact that you could stand outside and protest for that baby as if you care. But you would turn around. You might, you might as well just walk into the backyard and let up, uh, let up a, a crack pipe yourself and said, "Hey guys, what's going on? Want me to order some uh, Papa John's?" Do you want me to order some Papa John's? We all know what she's thinking about right now. She wants that deep dish. You're just like that. When you get called a tragedy pimp, yeah, I'm gonna say your heart's not in it, not anymore. I, I take back everything that I said. And you want to know something? Yep, another breakup. You're good at certain things. But when it comes to... Life Rewind, I don't think she has a New York accent. I think this is like a Jersey accent mixed with her trying to sound pretentious. Like she's trying to sound important and smart. Mixed with her Jersey I accent. You, would ever do something like that. you might as well just give a big middle finger to that baby. If that baby wasn't beaten up, beaten to death enough and thrown in the trash like garbage, what's the difference between you and Leilani? What, honestly, what is the actual difference between if you and Leilani? If BHB strikes her video, that would be funny. Gotcha. Well, Mark Betty, you know what? People have been on your ass. I didn't know why, but you want to know something? They probably saw it way before I did. You are, in fact, a complete and total fraud. You don't care about these children. You don't care about these people. And you're probably in tears right now, but you are a fraud. And I'm glad that Jonathan left you in the dust. Because that's oh, exactly Frank Dawson, you're you in tap chat. Exactly tap chat? I almost said tap chat. I'm going to get my dog. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm going to get my dog. Goodbye. God. All that to tell us everything that we already fucking knew about Betty. Like, we already knew all this. Everything we already knew. We already knew all this. We don't need to know anything else. We already knew. We already had it unlocked. Betty doesn't care about the kids. Molly doesn't care about the kids. Dolly Vision doesn't care about the kids. JLR, I don't think he does either. I don't know. I don't think he does. It's just the grasshopper strikes its master. It's just weird. Like, this whole thing is just super weird. Oh, was starting. My phone was starting to slip and I had to touch the buttons. Um, Laura's new look. Oh, you want to talk about Laura's new look? Okay, let's talk about Laura's new look. Uh, first of all, I don't think that anybody should be walking around in public, especially a 53 year old with a $2.99 party city clearance rack purple wig. I feel like that is not what we should be doing at 53 years old. Okay. I know way cool names. I like these names. I like all the names. Um, it did scare, <laughs> it scared CK. Um, there, I think that there was some jump scaring happening. The hair was so dark. Yeah. With the white face. So when you have a certain skin tone, Okay, which Laura does have that certain skin tone. And I thought in her live, I thought her hair was like black, right? But when I went to her community, no, her shorts. When I went to her shorts, it is purple. Like it is purple. I don't, I don't even have anything purple to show you what color purple it is. It's like uh, grimace fucking purple. Okay, that's the only thing I can think of. It's grimace purple. 
and it's like so it's like ombre so it's like black down to like grimace purple and it's it is so bad and the way she's wearing the wig is she's wearing the wig back here right so she, the wig is starting back here and the part is all cockeyed to the side like we're banging the part to the left and then it's way back here no it's not jet black i thought it was too i thought it was too but it's not hey joe um it's not it's bright purple I, it was just her lighting her lighting was just fucking awful um but yeah so and on that short i'm just gonna say something laura I don't talk about people's teeth because my teeth are fucked up seven ways from Sunday. Uh, but guess what? You, Miss Ma'am, you cannot ever say anything about anybody's teeth ever again as long as you're alive when I seen them buckers hanging out in that in that short. Nope. You can't. You cannot. Because you, my friend, are a big hypocrite. Ella Bella, yes. She had the uh, lizard lady contacts in. Oh. Uh, what? No way. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, but the only time that you're finding hair naturally that I, there's no, there's no hair that's that natural color. There's none, none, unless you're friggin, I don't know. And I, I don't even know. An alien from outer space might have purple hair. I don't friggin know. Never seen one. I have to ask JLR, but that's terrible. Seven shades of, yeah, it's, <sighs> I just don't understand how she gets ready, right? Like she gets ready. Like, believe me, sometimes as women, most of the women in here can, can, uh, you know, <laughs> confirm this is true. Sometimes when you get ready, you look in the mirror and you're like, oh God, this is not it. Like, this is not what I had planned out in my head. This is not the look that I'm going for. And you change your clothes, right? Okay. Not Laura. Laura's like, this is it. The purple hair with the lizard lady eyes, this is it. The caterpillar eyelashes, like, this is the look I'm going for right here, guys. Like, this is it. She doesn't understand how to, like, let's take it back and rework this outfit. Let's rework this hair. Let's maybe put our wig on normally and not have it, you know, at, at the back of our head. Her original teeth were really bad. <gasps> what they look like? I want to know. As bad, I, I wonder what they look like. Cause the if her original teeth were really bad and this is the upgrade, I don't want to know. But you know what? Who cares? Like I have bad teeth too. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? I don't give a shit. But I also don't sit there and pick people apart and say things like that because uh, I know that mine aren't good. You know. Laura, I'll pick on your hair because I, I have, you know, what I, I think is decent hair. So I'll pick on your hair, Laura. Like, I'll pick on your stupid fucking uh, purple wig for sure. I will. And don't even try to pull the friggin' health journey card and say that I'm fucking downing you for that. Because you wore Party City wigs all the way back in 2018 too, lady. In Molly's words, little lady. But except you're not littler than me. You're like 6'2". Her subs bought her an Invisalign. Well, yeah, because remember when she just said that she was going to order strap-on teeth? I wonder, like, that she did not have the strap-ons on her teeth in that picture. There, No, those were not strap-on teeth. Those were just bad teeth. And Laura, I'm sorry, but if my friend was in town visiting, the last thing I would be doing is going on live. It's Aileen? Who? Who's Aileen? Who's Aileen? I don't see Aileen. I don't know who Aileen is. But yeah, she um she she was on live with her friend, right? And she's like Ask me, you, this is your chance to ask my friend anything you want. Just ask her anything. And the questions that her chat were asking her were the most like bogus questions ever. It was so stupid. The questions that they were asking, like how high were Laura's bangs in eighth grade? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> like, 
They were probably just as high as she was. Who cares? Creeps. You believe you got fucked up teeth somewhere on your phone? <laughs> oh, God. She's a mess, dude. I don't know names either. Like, if somebody came in here and they said, like, hey, I'm so-and-so, you know what I mean? Like, a past YouTube name, then I would recognize them. But if they don't do that, then I don't know. I don't ever click on, you know what I mean? I don't ever, like, click on people's things to see who they are or anything like that. I should. Hey, Nana. I should, though. I just don't. Oh, the horse messed up teeth picture. That's funny. Yeah, I was like, Laura, dude, why would you do that? Like, what else do you have to do? 250 suits. <laughs> dude, I saw... Okay, so remember when she went um, to see um, Joni's, you know, and um, by the way, you know, like, God rest her soul for Joni's and prayers to her family. Um, when she went, went there to see Joni's, she had the, oh, thank you, infamous. Um, she had on that pink pleather, like, I don't even know what it was, like investigator, like private eye inspector dick, inspector gadget jacket. I was like... <laughs> She was, like, so proud of herself. She's, like, taking her selfie. And I was like, Laura, stop, ma'am. No, 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 no. None of that is good. All of that is just bad. I'm pick D's rat's ass. Yeah, I'm picking apart people who sit there and are a hypocrite. Because when she sits there and talks shit about people's teeth and everything else and tells people to sit their fat asses down and everything else, and she has some balls to be saying that kind of shit when she looks the fucking way she does, okay? So write that down, take that back to Laura, and let her know I said that, okay? You have a blessed day and a fantastic Easter. No. No, I'm not gonna, no. I. If you're gonna, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna have the lady balls to call people out on their looks and everything else, you better look like fucking Miss America at the end of the day. Do you understand me? You better look like fucking Miss America. If you don't, I don't want to hear any words about it. So that's it. So in the words of Laura, sit down. Why she had to dress the nines to visit her sick friend. I don't know. I, don't know. I will say that I do dress up. A lot. I do. I, I do. I do dress up. She's watching and you know it. Yeah, she is. She is. That probably is Laura. Laura, just suck my dick. Like, come on. Get real. How many times has she sat there and friggin' put people down for their weight? Which also, she can't talk shit about that. She shouldn't be talking shit. She's got some fucking audacity. I'll tell you that. Yeah, she sends them all over here to friggin' come in with their fucking zingers. You better, you gotta wake up a little bit uh, earlier in the morning if you're gonna try to get one over on me. I'm pretty fucking witty. And that shit, that wasn't witty. That was just stupid. Window dressing. It is subjective. It is. You're right. You're right. You're right. It is. And she does. And I'll, did you hear the rant that she went on about how 90% of the drama community is overweight and it's because they stress eat? Like, what? Are you fucking crazy, lady? Why? How do you know this? How do you even know this? And what mathematical calculations did you, did you use to come up to that conclusion? That's what I want to know. The dark wig? Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. Laura, you better take that thing right back to party study, girl. She does say vile things. She calls people names constantly. She constantly puts people down for their looks. So you know what? All I'm saying is if you're going to put people down for your looks, for their looks, all you people who do that, you better make sure that when you look in the mirror, you are completely content with yourself. Laura's milkshake brings on Laura's milkshake brings on the boys to the yard. It's the contacts. That's what draws them in. Tamu. 
It's my Tamu wig. And the Tamu sheets. Uh, delayed. Yes, I agree. I do think there. Well, I mean, she has said herself, right, that she was an addict of, I don't know what drug, but a drug addict, okay? So she said that herself. Um, and I think there's been studies that show that if you are a heavy drug user um, early on before your brain reaches, like, peak development, which is what, like, 21 to 23 years old, that you um, you can become, like emotionally and mentally stunted at that age that you start doing drugs. And I really think that that might be what happened because she is definitely, definitely has the fucking emotional maturity of a fucking 18 year old, a hundred percent, like no empathy whatsoever. No, you know, even her comebacks, like when she like claps back at people, they're like so fucking lame. I'm like, dude, come on. She really should have bought that comeback book because she needed it. She needed help. Does Tamu sell wigs and contacts? Uh, they definitely sell wigs because I bought my blonde Laura wig from Tamu. <laughs> so, so, yes, I do know that they sell wigs 100%. Coca-Cola. She ain't doing the Coke Zero. You know what? If Coke stopped making Coke Zero, I would have a full-on fucking come apart. A full on come apart. I drink way too many a day. Mm hmm. Bullhorn Betty, where she's like, ah, just asking for a few thou thousand friends. Just asking for a few thousand friends. Just asking for a couple hundred friends. I'm like, what? Are Everything she says, that's what she says. I heard some nasty ish in her last. Oh, yeah. Uh, I watched somebody shared um, your clip, Government Man. And I watched it and it was, uh, disgusting. Actually, uh, if you guys don't have government man on your subscription list, go sub up to government man. Um, he clips a lot of funny shit, disgusting shit like that one. Um, no, I haven't tried the spiced Coke. It's just, I don't think it'd be the same. I don't like the flavored ones. I used to like the vanilla one back in the day, but not so much anymore. <laughs> An avocado and a dog. The avocado was, um, I think MGL's dog ate an avocado, and that's why her dog was in the vet's office. I think her comebacks are insults. Yeah, it is. The, and that's the thing. Like, I don't feel bad talking about Laura's fucking teeth or her shitty fucking wig. I don't feel bad about that because I've watched her for the last two years sit there and just put people down day after day after day and talk shit and call people names. So you know what, Laura? You reap what you fucking sow, bitch. I don't care. I don't care. I don't know you shit. Yeah, sub up to government, man. She denied the comeback book. Acted like there nobody knew what she was. <laughs> she needs it. I told her on, on her panel one day. I was like, Laura, you put a fucking Webster's Dictionary on your uh, Amazon wish list. And I will 100% buy it for you. Because you need it. You need it. Uh, mix that with honey. Oh, okay. That might be. Yeah. Well, I've seen where people, I don't have the link. Some, like one of the mods will have to drop his link in the chat because I can't do it from my phone. Um, she needs to get with the fashion times. I know. Lisa from Crimes and Fashion, if you hear this, uh, just send, just send Laura some links. Just something, just some help. The strange tattoo placement. I can't even say anything, dude, because I got one in the same place. I don't know if you can see it. I got one in the same exact place right there on the farm. Not one of the, uh, not one of my smartest choices for sure. My parody wig, <laughs> that thing has been, okay, so one of my dogs accidentally, well, not accidentally, on purpose, I left it accidentally laying on the bottom of the bed one day after I got done doing a parody, and one of my dogs grabbed a hold of it, and it fucking, my dog ran under the bed with the wig, right, and I'm like screaming at her, I'm like, no, Kona, no, Kona, I'm like, give it back to mommy, give it back to mommy, 
So I'm like trying to wrestle the ri- the wig from her, right? And this huge freaking chunk of hair comes and it just yanks out. And she's running around with like this chunk of hair. So it like looked like an extension, like hanging out of her mouth. So I had to trim the friggin' wig because I was like, this is a fucking nightmare. And I'm not buying another one just to have the same thing happen. Because 90% chance that my dogs would get that one too. So yeah, it was bad. You have 13 uh, yeah, I don't have any names either. Um, I have these ones on my fingers. Those are a definite regret. Uh, the ones on my fingers. I have this one on my arm that I also kind of regret. Uh, this one. I don't know what I was thinking. It says, uh, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Uh, live fast, die pretty. Cause I thought that was a great idea. Let's just get live fast, die pretty permanently inked on our bod. The shit that I did when I was younger, man. Get the messy bun with the hair scrunch. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The one that looks like a Merkin. Like, I should. I should get one of those to do it. Who had a tattoo of void over his wife's name. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Uh, I regret the sugar skull. I don't regret the sugar skull because I really like it. It's kind of cute. I regret the placement of it. Yes, I do regret the placement. You have one on your finger and one on each. But I do regret the finger tattoos. Um, sometimes. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. I can't talk shit about her thing. The 1970s wiglet. Yeah, uh, I call those things. Well, we, I call them squirrel tails. The... You know, like the little ponytail thing that, like, you clip in to make your, like, ponytail fuller? You woke up rather mean. Oh, you have a tattooist sister? Oh, shit. I would love that. I would love if my sister did tattoos. Your friend, your hubby's friend has an eyeball. Oh, what? Uh Uh-uh. That had to hurt like a bitch. Uh, I have in the uh, Illuminati symbol on my rib cage. So, there's that situation. I, um... You know, I don't know if you guys had them like at your tattoo shops, but you could, it was like the bubble gum machine. And if you paid $25, um, it would just spit out like a random tattoo, right? So it spit it out like in like the little plastic bubble gum toy container thing, right? So you could, for $25, you could get that tattooed on you. Or if you paid another $25, you could get a second one, but you couldn't do it more than twice. So you could either get your first one or you could get your second one, right? Oh, hey, Patty. Um, you could get the second one. So the first one came out, right? And I was like, I was just like broke and young and in college. So the first one came out and it was the Illuminati. I'm like, yep, looks good. Let's just put it right here on the old ribs. <laughs> and so that's how I ended up with an Illuminati symbol on my fucking ribs. And I wanted to die. You have 30? Over 30? Oh, I'm jealous. I love tattoos. I really, really do. There's a TikToker that has the clump. Yes. Okay. So similar thing. You pay the $25. Yeah. And then you just twist it. It comes right out. And then, um, yeah. So that's how I ended up with an Illuminati symbol on my uh, side. And then I have some really bad ones on my back. I got one on the back of my neck. Um, I have one on my chest, actually, like right here, right underneath this part. Uh, you're getting your throat done. I have a friend that has a... Um, she has an owl on her throat. So like, this is like the body of the owl right here. And then the wings go out and around and it looks sick. She's way braver than me. Way, way braver. I wonder how Allie's family feel or Allie feels about spending her and her family's money to save Laura's hair for Laura just said, yeah, well, I think, okay. So I have, um, my old hairdresser did the cold capping as well. And she said, first of all, it's very, very painful. And, um, so she had the same situation that Laura was describing, like this whole part underneath, like the bottom part was, um, thinning and, you know, as a side effect from the chemo, which I don't wish on anybody at all. And, um, so she ended up just, uh, shaving her head and ended up getting a really good wig, but here's my thing. Okay. So if you're going to, I mean, teach their own, spend your money how you want, Laura, but I mean, if it came down to it, you keep saying that you, you know, oh, I just bought a cheap wig, just a, you know, it's just a $30 cheap wig. 
but you went and got a tattoo, if you were going to, you know what I mean, spend the money to get a tattoo, why wouldn't you just take that tattoo money that you're, you know, you weren't even supposed to get while you're going through your treatments? You said it yourself, not my words. Those are your words. Like, why wouldn't you just go and get a quality wig? That's what I don't understand. It's weird. If I'm going to have four double chins, I'll put our, shut up. <laughs> Stop. You're stupid. Oh God. Yeah. So she described it in her live. She was saying, you know, about how, you know, and that's her story to tell, but she put it out there publicly for public consumption once again. So, um, she said, you know, it's, you know, the underneath was thinning because I think what happens is, you know, when you're, you're putting that quilt cap on your head, like, yeah, obviously all of this and these hair follicles are getting covered. Right. But then you got to think like, what about all this part that's like on the napier neck and stuff like that? That's not really getting treated. So, um, I know for a fact that when my hairdresser did that, she said that there was like, I think it was a 30 to 40% retention rate for your hair. So, I mean, your hair loss was going to be anywhere between 60 and 70%, right? And for me, 60 to 70% of your, you know, if you're losing 60 to 70%, that's, that's quite a bit, especially if you have, you know, damaged hair to begin with. Yeah. That's right. Zoots and boots. Um, yeah. And you, you do have, you know, increased skin sensitivity for sure, which that's why it baffles me that she went and got a fucking tattoo. Like that had to, Laura, I'll give it to you, girl. Your pain tolerance has got to be up there, man, because, uh, that's probably that, that probably hurt like a bitch. Cause I already know like this area right here isn't super fun. Um, and you know, with the extra skin sensitivity and stuff, I just, I just really hope that she doesn't have a reaction to it, you know, because lots of weird things can happen to your body during treatment. And I really hope that she doesn't have a reaction. They're not supposed to CK. They're not, you're not, you're not supposed to get tattoos while you're going through that. You thought that she had, I think, I don't remember. She said that she did it the last time that she did do it the last time, but she was complaining about it. She was complaining about it from the get. And that's why she's so fucking ungrateful, dude. Somebody spent money to get that stuff. And, and she just fucking complains about it. Just fucking, oh God, dude. I'm so broke. Let's go get it. Exactly. Like I'm super broke, but, uh, let's go get a tattoo and do this and do that. You know what I mean? But then, but now what she's going to do is she's going to say that this, um, you know, $2.99 party city clearance wig itches her head or it doesn't fit right or it doesn't look right. And she's going to grift for a, you know, nicer hair piece. That's what she's going to do. I just, I can see it fucking coming a mile away, dude. I can see it fucking coming a mile away. That's what she's going to do. She's an idiot. Your hands and fingers hurt a little. Yeah, mine did too. Not up here. This one didn't, like the one that's like above the knuckle didn't hurt. But these two that are down here, those hurt really bad. Yeah, and that's what she's going to do. She's going to grift for something else. Yep, make it make sense, government. I can't, man. I can't. But, all right, guys, I'm going to start walking over, um, and my kid's going to start playing, and then we're going to Cold Stone afterwards. Did you know I'm vegan, right? So, they have an almond milk friggin' uh, Cold Stone creamery delicious creation. Um, friggin' fantastic. So, I'm excited to go to Cold Stone after this. But, uh, oh yeah. All right. So everybody, if I don't see you guys on the streets and chats, uh, I will see you guys next week and you guys have a great Easter. If you celebrate Easter, if you don't just eat some Cadbury eggs and chill and, oh yeah, I know forgotten whispers and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for coming. Bye.